Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. So what I got here are some locks. And a lot of times when you're watching TV or movies and stuff, uh, you'll notice that, you know, a character will run up to like a locked gate or someplace, and there'll be a padlock on it, and they can't get through. So what do they do? They pull out their handgun or their rifle, and they shoot it. And without fail, they get in. And, uh, you know, that single shot miraculously busts this lock into several pieces, and, uh, you know, it's no longer a problem for them. So we're going to test that out today, see how realistic that is. So, uh, just got several firearms out here. Got a, a, a SIG 226, got an SKS, uh, an AR-15, a Mosin Nagant, and a 12-gauge shotgun. And uh, so we're just going to shoot this with several of those firearms and see, uh, see how durable these locks are, how well they stand up. We are just going to use a standard, just kind of basic dial lock. These are by no means the most durable locks in the world, uh, but they're just very common, and I just had several extras uh, laying around that we can shoot. So these locks are pretty much all the same. Uh, these silver ones do have like a manual override lock in the back. Uh, I don't think that'll make that much of a difference. These are pretty much all the same lock. So uh, let's just get to it. Okay, first up is going to be the SIG 226. This is 9mm. That worked. Completely gutted it. Knocked the dial off. Let's see if we can get it open. Nope. <laughs> it's still holding shut. Mostly just because that metal is still holding that uh, notch. But I'd say 9mm definitely has potential to be able to uh, blow a lock apart with enough shots. Alright, so that 9mm worked. Next up, we're just going to try some 223. This is some 62 grain X TAC. So it is a steel core. Not technically armor piercing, but it should do the job, we hope. So uh, let's do it. Yeah, that, that piece is still there, but pretty much the rest of it's been uh, smashed to pieces. So, uh, I'd say a 2 3 will definitely do the job. Alright, got the SKS out here, so we're just going to shoot some of this 762 by 39 This is just Wolf ammo, so there is just a little bit of an air pocket in the tip of this, so it's not really mil-spec ammo, but uh, it's the best we got right now, so... We'll give it a try. Not ideal, but it should probably do the job. Uh, we'll just load this SKS up and give it a go. <laughs> All 
All right, so that's all we could really find after the uh, the SKS hit it. Wasn't even that square of a hit, but it sure did the job. So uh, not the most durable ox in the world, but I suppose a uh, a good rifle should do that, huh? All right, next up we got the Mosin they got. So uh, let's see if we can hit one of those locks with this thing. All right, so that's the remnants of the uh, the lock after the Mosin hit it. So uh, blew that apart pretty well. Nice hit up there at the top. Blew out the internals. So uh, those rifles sure do it. No problem at all. All right, so we tried the handgun and some different rifles. Next up is going to be the good old 12 gauge. And uh, so the load of choice today is just going to be a wax slug. Wax slugs are very interesting loads, and uh, I really like them. They're a lot of fun. I have a video out showing how to make them if you're interested in them a little, a little more. So uh, let's load it up and take a shot. Looks like we got it. As you can tell, that wax slug was pretty devastating. Put a big hole through the body, split the shell apart. There's the part of the dial and another innard. So, uh, did a pretty good job. All right, guys, so sure busted those locks apart pretty good. And uh, I think what we learned here is pretty much if you're shooting a, uh, a slug and a shotgun or a uh, good center fire rifle, you're probably going to be able to get into one of these locks pretty easily. And now, uh, these are by no means the best locks in the world, but uh, they're pretty common locks, and uh, we blew them apart pretty well. Now, this one's the one we shot with that 9mm. This one we never got into, although we're pretty stinking close. So, a few shots with a handgun should get you into one of these. Now, uh, I've been thinking about doing this video for a while, but the one that really inspired me to, uh, to get to doing it is one by a, a YouTuber that goes by Crockett20. And Crockett 20 really puts out some good high quality videos. He shot several variations of padlocks, some stuff that's a little bit more durable than this. And uh, so I recommend you go check out his video if you want to see some more shooting of padlocks. It's a, a good video and uh, should help you get just even a little bit more information on the topic. So everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to subscribe and click the little like arrow. And everyone, have a nice day.